friends, welcome to my channel, The Right Direction. Now I am going to teach about the portrait of a daddy. What is the portrait? Definitely it will create a sense of anxiousness. What really the portrait deals? And it deals with nothing but a lady. That means in our day to day life, we know that a father can scold you or mother can beat you but not a grandfather or grandmother. That means from this point of view, we are she a writer's grandmother. Writer is not nobody but Kuspan Singh, one of the reputed, distinguished and prolific writer of modern times. And he is in one sense the Indo-Anglia, that means living in India but writing in English. In this topic, he has explained in detail how he was associated to his grandmother and what type of duty the grandmother done towards him and from the very beginning from the very outset he is telling my grandmother like everybody's grandmother here he brings a comparison it is a good comparison he was an old man that means grand definitely grandfather or grandmother they are always old she had been old and the wrinkle, wrinkle means there is the structure, structure, that means face structure or every, the screen structure is not in a tear, not in a perfect. So that's why it is wrinkle. Wrinkle for 20 years that I had known her, that means for 20 years. That means when the writer wrote this during that time, here he is telling from 20 years. People said that she had once young and pretty and had been, uh, had even a heart of that. But that was hard to believe. But now, in this condition, it is difficult to believe on the part of the It was hard to believe my grandmother's portrait hung above the mantel piece uh, in the drawing room. That means when his grandfather's portrait hung on a mantel piece in a cell, the picture, the replica of the grandmother hands. And that's why he is still in his room. He wore a big turban and as they belong to the one section, the Sikh section, the Punjabis. So that's why they were wearing the turban, Pagadi Zuda Pankhi. His long white beard covered the best part of his seat and he looked at least 100 years old. From his picture, from his portrait, from the mantelpiece, we definitely identify that his grandmother, grandfather was about 100 years old or more. He looked as if he could only have lots and lots of children, grandchildren, as of my grandfather being young and pretty. And here he brings a comparison that his grandmother was young and pretty. The thought was almost reverting. She often told us of the games she used to play as a child. That means the grandmother is explaining in his childhood what type of a game, what type of a activities she had done he properly explained to uh, her grandchildren. The, th the third was almost reverting. She often told us of the game we used to play. That seemed quite absurd and unignified on her part. We treated like it the fables of her, the prophet she used to tell us. And that is absurd, not logical or sensible. We are telling here she is going to teach or it is just like the sermons. Of a prophet, Jenti and Dharma Jajako, but Dharma Pacharako Jenti and so Bani Diandi, Sabra Tanko Pathavako Lagi. She had always been short and fat and slightly bent. That means now the writer is going to speak about the physical posture of his grandmother. She was very short and fat and slightly just little bit of bent. Her face was crisscross, that means her face was not pure because being a old man. So definitely we find there is the weak, there is the definitely there is some uh, negative sense arises on the screens, crisscross wrinkles running from everywhere to everywhere. Because she was not so young, she was old, definitely these things we have no. We just, uh, we are certain as she had always been, as we had known her. That means from this very beginning, from this the writer is telling, it is like a colleague of the Chamachanti, Chama, the Kiki book, the Korea Bosha Toy, every now sees in such condition, every six condition. 
so terrible old that she could not have grown older and had stayed at the same age for 20 years. That means now what day, what picture, what posture, what condition, what physical things of the grandmother is it remain constant from since 20 years. And here is telling she could never have been pretty, but she was always beautiful. She was always beautiful because of her manner, of her behavior, of her appearance, of her corporate ways, everything. She howled about the, the house in spotless, the white, with one and resting on her waist to balance her two and other telling that bits of her treasury. Then during that time, every time he is doing what being an old man, definitely you know, she is a spiritual lady. Jetu says an Adhatmik Vada lady, then she is a very mad lady. <clears throat> her silver looks were scattered untidily over the pale puckered face and her lips constantly moved in audible fear. Every time he, she, sorry, she dedicated herself for the God and every time she chanting, she uttering the prayer or about the Adigram or Granthasai or about any religious scriptures. So, all the Dharma Mani or Dharma Pustaka Padi Nije Nije Guna Guna Nai Kohi Chali Thante. In audible prayer, Yes, she was beautiful. She was like the winter landscape in the mountains, an expanse of pure white, serenity, breathing peace, and contentment. That means everything she is undignified, not respectable, serenity, calmness, and contentment, satisfaction. That means whatever produced by her definitely satisfies to the writer and to his co to his family members because she was the only grandmother, and everything, whatever thing expected. From her, definitely she provided to the writer. Thank you, all of you. Please, please share and subscribe my channel so that I can upload more and more videos for you.